it's early October. Woke up to a nice layer of frost on the ground this morning. And we're out here at almost 7,000 feet testing the Arctic minus 15 sleeping bag. The Arctic minus 15 is Red Fox's three season mummy style synthetic bag. So it's ideal for less than dry weather conditions and a pretty wide range of temperatures, anywhere from single digits on the low end to the upper 30s and 40s. So the bag is made with a combination of ripstop and taffeta nylons. So the exterior is durable, water resistant, and the synthetic insulation inside uh, is gonna stay warm even if the bag's wet. One of the things I really appreciate about the bag is that there's a lot of attention to detail. There's extra insulation in all the places where you'd want it, an extra layer around the chest and shoulders to uh, an extra baffle that insulates the zipper down the entire length of the bag. The zipper was also placed lower to the ground in order to reduce heat loss and the glow-in-the-dark zipper pull means less time spent fumbling around in the dark. The bag's two-way zipper also lets you easily regulate airflow in the bag and you can combine the left and right zipper models together for a much larger bag. A few other details include the fleece-lined tow box and a hidden pocket near the chest for storing valuables like keys or your phone. Really the only thing that could be designed a little better on the Arctic Minus 15 is the hood draw cord. The cord lock is sewn directly to the bag and the drawstrings aren't elastic so cinching down the hood is easy enough but when you're trying to open it back up you have to hold open the cord lock with one hand and pull each drawstring through individually with the other. Not a deal breaker but definitely tedious and harder than it needs to be. But the Arctic Minus 15 is a sweet looking bag. It packs down small and at just over two pounds, the warmth to weight ratio definitely rivals a lot of the other bags out there. So uh, if you're interested, go check it out at Red Fox North America.